Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to another episode of Day Trip. Today we're in East London. We're watching AFC Hornchurch as they take on Leighton Orient in uh, a pre-season friendly. It's an absolutely lovely Tuesday evening, just as it was last week at Enfield. Uh, it's a revitalised Leighton Orient. They've got new owners, so glad to see them sorted again. It was horrible what happened to them under the Italians, but new owners, new manager, new players. Joby McEnough starts for them tonight and George Kobe plays for them. Um, so yeah, should be a good test for them against Hornchurch here in the Isthmian League, uh, Isthmian League Division 1 North, I believe it is. So a few tiers between them, but uh, should be a good encounter. It's five quid to get in. Looking forward to this one. Teams right there, players come out. There we go, we've got the best view in the house. <laughs> On a terrace with a beer, pitch there. <laughs> he plays in the championship. He should really. Number 10 plays in the championship, no. This video is not sponsored by Betball, but Harry is trying everything he can to uh, find a bet on this game. I just think they're going to get battered here. <laughs> Look at the Ronaldo esque stance. It's left footed. Oh! Years. This man. No, I don't support the Shawlands. I just know the guy and his family. Yeah. Oh! Safe. He fell off the roof. So we're going to go have a wonder and try and get a burger. The queue is still exactly as long as it was before. Uh, but that terrace is second to none. This is already my favourite club out of the ones I've done so far because that terrace. You can just sit on there with a beer. It's like a beer garden and you're just looking over the football. We should have one of those at every single ground. Anfield, I'm talking to you. Oh, he's literally missed from absolutely. So the halftime whistle is just gone. It's nil nil. It's not a thrilling game here, I must say. It's all late in Orient. It's pretty much a training session, but no real chances. It's been pretty dull. Um, but the ground is just absolutely wonderful. Uh, athletic track again, which is a shame. You can get right up close to the pitch, but. As I said, the terrace where, the, where you can have a beer, you can maybe just see it behind my head there, uh, is magnificent. The burger, the wait for the burger, I've been absolutely absurd. That's why I've walked around here, because we were sitting in that queue for about 20 minutes. We've moved about uh, six feet. Um, yeah, so we're still waiting for a burger. Been in that queue for about 25 minutes. The burger review will be coming eventually, though. Um, I'll see you when I have it. 20 minutes have elapsed since the last clip, and we're finally about to order. <laughs> 20 minutes since the last clip, there's been about a 45 minute wait. We no, no burgers are cooking. Yeah, worry about the burger situation. <laughs> Probably about midway through the second half and I've got my burger. There it is. The review is coming. The guys are going to bring my chips around in a minute. We thought by the time we got there, do you know what, we've been here for 45 minutes. Let's go for the Big Eat Burger. So, I'll show you in a second, but we've got sausage, burger, bacon, cheese, all sorts, and chips. Eight quid a head. Very expensive, very long wait, but let's hope it's worth it. It's looking pretty good, looking pretty good. That is looking pretty good. Get in there. Will it be worth the wait? Let's see, shall we? Let's see. Mmm. Fat. All the layers. All right. I'll tell you what. I'm going to need a second mic before I can fully determine just how good this is. Very hot, um, temperature-wise. Mm. The 
bacon is terrific. I'm not sensing any onions in here. Where's the onions? They had onions there as well. Did I not? Did I not get any? Oh wow. Well, you got to factor in the waiting time. You got to factor in Ick and the boys with their burgers and my chips. <laughs> got to factor in the waiting time. Got to factor in the fact that the staff were unwilling to uh, go and There's get any more chips. chips. As well. There's the chips that I uh, did promise. There you go. Look. No, not the biggest portions, but they're not potatoey. Yeah, which we'll, um, I'm sure you'll find out more about. What do you think about the staff refusing to no, go and get more no, chips? No. Yeah, they did actually go and get them more. Oh, okay. What do you think about the staff in general? Long, um, long um, they cook into order <laughs> on, <laughs> yeah, a, on a 45 man queue. Yeah. Con consistently no, for the last hour and a half is quite disgraceful. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. we've, you know, we've got our food. We've got our food. They've we can't see anything in the front. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a chip before I give this a rating. Get some with some tomato ketchup. You've missed the tomato ketchup completely there. I have to bend down and grab it like a cat. I've got all sorts of food all over my mouth. Um, the chips, the chips. You know, it's not very potatoey, which is all I'm all, all I'm really after. Uh, the burger's great. It was six quid though. Chips are two quid, eight pounds, and a long wait. But it is quality. It is very good. Don't get any onions. Uh, I'm gonna factor in. Uh, I'm gonna factor in the weight. It's gonna be a six out of ten. It's going to be worse than uh, worse than um, Enfield, just because of the weight, really, and the fact I've got no onions again. There you go. So whilst I've stuffed my face on my burger, Hornchurch just scored an absolute worldy. Uh, cutting from the right-hand side, left-footed shot from about 25 yards out. Top corner, keeper no chance. 1-0 Hornchurch, fans in full voice. Can they hang on for a bit of an upset? Chips being well and truly enjoyed over there. After a scathing attack on the burger. Yeah, not good. Mm. Speaking of not good, Leighton Orange still 1 0 down. I'm doing very little. Did I say that? There you go. I know what else. He's on the follow up. Oh! Let me say, don't shoot. <laughs> Magical so I'm here with Ben, who's a, a local. Uh, it, you've been here before, haven't you? Yeah, Remember? quite a few times, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so uh, what have you made of it tonight? Um, it's a beautiful evening. I've never seen it as packed as this, and I've never been to a pre-season game, so I think they do tend to maybe get West Ham and Orient every now and again, but yeah, it's beautiful, and yeah, it's yeah. a decent game as well. How many times have you been here before, then? Brrr, um, ten plus. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, I've had about ten years of season tickets with Leighton Orient, so right. pretty decent. So what do you make of the, how things have transpired at Orient with their Italian owners finally leaving? And the, the new owners, do you, think the, you know, do you think the club's back on the right track? Um, I think they're massively unified, so that's quite beautiful, no matter what you think. I mean, that was a real grotty period, and I've, um, having been away for it for literally since the start of that time, uh, it's, just, it's just looked really murky, but I know that the fans, like there's 3,100 season tickets are gone, yeah, which is like better than they've done for a long time. So, And they've really they got some good calibre signings, like McEnough has joined, yeah, um, former championship rejoined. player. Uh, yeah, Ella Kobe's there. Ella so Kobe's a unit. Do you, so do you think the, you know, they'll dominate the conference this season? Do you think they'll make their way back up the I league? I don't know, man. It's tough to say. I feel confident. I mean, they've got a good base, but sometimes it's almost like a too good to be true type thing. So they've got Martin Ling coming in as like director yeah. of football. There's like loads of like friendly faces. So fingers crossed. Yeah. See, Martin Ling was um, he was talkie manager. I'm, I'm from the, the talkie area, so yeah. know a lot about him. Brian Saw. Yeah. yeah, Brian Sarr, yeah, 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 that was yeah. my mate from school. So really? Like, you know, he goes, oh, yeah, he's, good. he's a lovely guy, Brian. Nice one. Um, and yeah, so you say you're going to be doing some content, hopefully, um, yeah. in around Leighton Orient. What, what sort of things are we going to yeah, see? Yeah, it's going to be Leighton Orient, and um, I, well, I think I might need to keep it under wraps for the minute, but yeah. probably sort of fan interviews and, and hopefully, like, sort of, you know, fun faces, maybe like people who are, you know, well known and stuff as well, but, you know, fan interviews and like sort of uh, match day vlogs like you kind of do as well. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, regular Orient this season? Yeah, I think so. That's what nice this one. looking like, yeah. Nice one. So enjoy the season, mate. Nice one, man. Speak to you soon. <laughs> Ooh, so. Have you seen that? So what I didn't know, and Ben just told me, is that the Hornchurch goal actually got disallowed. No idea what for. It looked like it was just a long-range screamer, but yeah, apparently flag was up or something. So yeah, it's still nil-nil. No goals tonight. And I didn't miss getting any goals on camera, so that's uh, plenty of positives there. So there we go, a goalless draw there. Thought it was 1-0 to Hornchurch, but turns out the goal was disallowed. 
Um, overall, decent evening. I think it was slightly marred by their wait for the burger, as I've repeatedly said, but the ground on the whole was lovely. The, uh, the, the deck where you can watch the football, drink a beer, you got a lovely view of it, is, is the best part of the place. Other than that, the athletics track kind of ruins it. Um, the game itself, very little happened. Leighton Orient didn't look particularly sharp. I know a lot of the players are only new signings and the manager's not been there long, so it's going to take a while for them to really get into their stride this season. I'm sure they'll do well in the conference. They've got a much stronger squad than a lot of the competitors in that league. Um, overall, good night out, very cheap. Um, Harry wasn't impressed with the burger, were you? No, no not good at all. I mean, it's Any gonna... further thoughts on the burger? You cannot see him at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so where would it rank alongside Enfield for you? As a, as a whole day? Yeah. Uh, I liked Enfield a lot. I thought there was some really nice... I thought the, the ground in general was very good and obviously the attendance for, for tonight was excellent. Yeah. Uh, burger was crap. <laughs> um, wait, the chips yeah. were good. Yeah, the weight for that was a bit annoying. Um, the football itself was crap. But the... the 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 stadium and, and the fans were much better than Enfield. Um, obviously, getting close to the season now, so people are getting a bit more into it. Um, I think the, the main thing is there were so many people there. I think yeah. that, that's that's exciting. Yeah, I, I, I think that crowd was a lot more than I used to get in. Um, whereas a lot of the friendlies I've been to so far have been quite very small, like sort of a couple hundred fans there. Tonight there's probably at least six hundred there. Yeah, at least. Um, yeah, good. So that was good. Really nice atmosphere. But yeah, it, it was a good a good away day and one that. Um, you know, isn't there's not going to be many more friendlies before we get into the football league and the non-league seasons actually starting. So we're going to see a lot more interesting atmospheres. Um, but yeah, we've enjoyed tonight. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please do subscribe for more of this sort of stuff and follow my other socials. It's Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.